morning. It's uh, one thirty on. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Uh, hang on, it's um, Tuesday. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, uh, things are going along not too bad. Um, I got a piece of uh, inch and a quarter, I think it was. Um, I didn't have any three quarter round stock, uh, inch and one eighth. So um, I had to put an inch and one eighth diameter uh, billet in there or rod or bar and machine it down to um, uh, point, uh, point seven forty. 746, yeah, 746 diameter uh, for a three quarter 16 thread. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to leave it at three quarter. Well, I had, let, let's put it this way uh, the screw cutting that I've done in the past. Um, I've always made the OD four to five thou diameter smaller than the called for um, uh, thread. So uh, I've always done it that way. If it's wrong, then it's wrong. But that's how I've always done it. So um, I haven't done any screw cutting now for years. Um, and uh, I can't find my screw cutting gauge for setting up the tool bit <laughs> so um, I've just more or less lined it up by eye I've got this uh, this tool bit here that I ground when I was working and had access to um, grinding wheels um, surface grinders and um, uh, I ground it at work. So I'm assuming it's pretty good. It says 60 degrees on the uh, on the insert, so on the uh, tool bit. So uh, there you go. Now, what I did was uh, to lock the nut into this transfer bar. Um, I, I put in another split nut so the hole is uh, 0 0.630 0 0.630 um, and I made up a nut from aluminium uh, a bit under a few thou under and uh, that's how I'm locking it in with the again with a split nut um, Everything's working pretty good. It's a bit tedious because um, I've got a few things that I've got to iron out. <coughs> but it is giving me a thread. And so I've taken, um, let's see, I've taken uh, 10, 20, almost 30 thou uh, depth of cut now. Um, uh, it's not much, but uh, there's a. I've got to mess around with this threading unit. I've realised now that the thread needs to be a bit longer, and this bar needs to go back past the beginning of the thread and still be engaged with the thread, with the master this nut. At the moment the nut drops off the thread because I've got clearance on the core of this master thread. So as you can see I've got clearance there. Um, it's going to be better to leave the thread right up to the front of the collet blocking nut so that it is engaged 
when I go, when I reverse and go back for the next cut. Um, at the moment, it comes forward. I put a cut on on the uh, index, um, and then it has to engage in the nut because it's not engaged. So, and I'm so close to the beginning of the thread that it's a little bit awkward. It doesn't give time for the carriage to get going and speed up. So that's another thing that I have to iron out. Uh, the other thing would be probably um, some kind of a guideway on this bar back here when it's when it comes off the thread it starts to wobble um, and so I'd like to eliminate that so I may I may assemble some kind of a fork that is close fitting to the side of this transfer plate to keep it stabilized once it comes off the thread so that's another little job I may have to do but at the moment it's not going too bad um, I think I've got another cut on I'm not sure I've, I've been messing around with uh, the internet and searching for my uh, uh, thread gauge uh, not 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 that uh, that I've got that I've I use that quite a bit to to determine what threads are but it's the it's the gauge that you place on there and set up the tool bit so um, that's where I am at the moment what I've done is I'm, I'm using this motor because the direction is that way I'm using the motor to rewind this because to rewind that in in reverse by hand is it's very tedious a, a, a handle would be okay but I, I really don't want to put a handle on there I think I'm going to install this eventually um, so I will I will try to uh, set this up go and I think I've got a cut on I'm not sure um, because of the situation uh, it's not like normal screw cutting you know where you wind it back and get a number and boom away it goes with lots of power um, this is a little bit different so I've got this plate engaged on the beginning of the thread and it's just about to make a cut the beauty of it of this is, is that you don't have to worry about a a dial threading dial. Um, it's it 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 stays the same. You don't have to worry about that. So I'll start it up now and see what what happens. There we go. So there you go. It comes off the what's your name, and that's that. I could have put a a uh, relief slot at the back of the thread here, but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. I can always do that after I've cut the thread. So now that's 14. Um, I'll plug this in. This is all tedious at the moment, but the thing is that before I couldn't cut a thread on the tape, but at least I can cut a thread now. So what I do is just line that up there. It's a bit on the slow side. I don't know what I can do about that. Maybe a different motor. Um, this motor is 27 to 1 
revolution. So, and I can't speed it up. I think this little thing has enough power, but I really need to start the thread further back so that I can get it all going nicely before it starts to engage on the on the material. But this will give you an idea of how the design works. There we go, we're off. So I just uh, take that off, put that over there, and put another cut on. That was 14, I'll go another tooth out. Bearing in mind, that now, there's another thing. I've got, uh, I've got um, my top slide. And if I can assemble the top slide on here, uh, set at 30 degrees or 29 and a half, um, I can then use my top slide to go in at that angle and just cut on the one, the front face of the tool bit, which will help to relieve the stress of the point trying to cut on both sides and the point at, at the same time. So uh, I may do another one of these later in another video with the top slide set up on there. Okay, so. Okie doke, so now um, I engage, there we are, we're engaged, uh, give it a little bit of jollop, and there you go. So, <laughs> I'm quite pleased about it really. It's going to get better as I go along. I'm going to change a few things and hopefully I'll be able to do some decent screw cutting if I need to. So that's 15. Just engage that. Put this up here. I haven't looked at the book to see the depth or the core diameter so at the moment I'm 15 thou into the thread depth so it's obviously this way it's going to take a lot more torque to cut on the tip and both and both sides of the tool bit so what I may do is uh, I think maybe I'm gonna gonna try the uh, the top slide there's not a lot of room on these little lathes so I've got a top slide here and uh, I've got my I've got my adjustable tool holder on the front there. So there won't be an awful lot of room, but I can I can come across here, but I don't want to hide that too much. Um, yeah, it may just do it. it may just do it. So, okay, um, I don't know how long the video is, but um, I won't bore you with any more at this time. Um, but I think that um, because of this setup, I'm going to need to set the top slide onto the cross slide and take it further in along that way. It's going to be a bit better. So I'll call off and I'll get this thing 
um, loaded up, uploaded, and uh, give us a shout if you like the video, or if you're interested, and uh, I'll be back later on. Thanks very much.